Five of our deceased donor kidney transplants are successful at the one year mark greater than 95% of the time. I'm Dr. Winfred Williams. I'm a nephrologist and the Associate Chief of the Renal Division at Massachusetts General Hospital and an Associate Professor of Medicine at the Harvard Medical School. And these are Mass General Brigham's answers to the most asked questions on kidney transplantation. So what are the benefits of a kidney transplant instead of dialysis? Well, dialysis is clearly a great life-saving treatment. However, if you can enjoy the opportunity of a kidney transplant, there is substantial data to show that transplantation offers not only a better quality of life, but it increases patient longevity so that patients who have a durable, well-functioning kidney transplant have about 10 to 15 years longer lifespan than if they were to remain on dialysis. After a kidney transplant, do I still need to take medication? So one of the key principles for transplantation is once you receive a transplant, you always, always, always have to take your transplant medications post-transplantation. This is to prevent rejection of the kidney. Some other reasons to take medications include prevention of infection and the control of blood pressure. If you're experiencing side effects, your team can adjust medication doses that work best for you. But again, don't stop taking your medication on your own. How do I know if my body is rejecting the new kidney? Well, there's really no way for you to tell, even in fairly advanced kidney rejection. You won't really feel pain or see any changes in the body that can give a hint that there may be trouble. Generally, kidney health is monitored by clinical biochemical readouts. If these biomarkers begin to suggest that there may be trouble, then we will ask a patient to come in and do an ultrasound of the kidney, or we may have the patient undergo a kidney biopsy. This is why it's so important to have regular checkups with your physician after transplant. Is there a strict diet to follow after surgery? It's best to avoid raw or undercooked meat, poultry fish, sushi, raw shellfish, and raw eggs in any form, and to always wash your vegetables and salads. Remember, having a new kidney gives you the ability to have a less restricted diet. That's very exciting. And it gives you the ability to have a less restricted lifestyle, resuming the activities that you once enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Wynn Williams. For videos on dialysis, click here and don't forget to subscribe.